Hi everybody, Paul Soros Jr. here. Welcome to my Minecraft mod tutorial and tour. In this episode, I'm going to show you a mod called Tomes. Now I'm going to split this video into two parts. The first part will be how to download and, and install the mod. And the second part will jump into the game and I'll show you how to use the mod. Now this mod, Tomes, is made by Pink Emma. And you can find it on the minecraftforum.net forums. And I will put a link directly to this, this page in the description of the video. So head on over there right now and you can follow along. Uh, let's jump right in. Now before we get started here, just a couple of words of caution. Um, number one, anytime you install a mod, you should back up your Minecraft folder just in case something goes bad. And this may conflict with mods that you already have, so just keep that in mind. Uh, number two, you will need some kind of a zipping program. I use 7-Zip, which is a free program. You can download it here from 7-zip.org or WinRAR will work as well. Um, so go ahead and get one of those installed if you don't already. So now let's um, let's move on and let's take a look at what this thing actually does. A tome is just a book. It's just a fancy word for book. And it, as you can see down here, there's a recipe to create this tome. It requires a book, ink sack, and feathers. And what you get is a tome. And it's basically a book that you can write in. And this is what it looks like in the game. We're going to hop into the game and I'll show you. But the nice thing about this, it can have multiple pages and... Um, you can actually copy and paste text from another program so you don't have to type it all in. It's pretty sweet. Now, it do only works in single player right now, but apparently the developer is going to add multiplayer support. All right, without further ado, let's jump in and uh, let's get this installed and then we'll hop into the game and take a look. So the first thing we need to do is download the, to the Mod Tome uh, zip file as well as Rizagami's Mod Loader. So go ahead and do that. I've already got them downloaded. Just click these links. And once you have them downloaded, come on back. Okay, the first order of business is installing Rizogami's mod loader into the Minecraft.jar file. So let's head on over to our downloads folder, find that mod loader where you downloaded it, and open it up in 7-zip or WinRAR. I right-click 7-zip, open archive, and it shows you the contents of that file. Now we need to head over to our Minecraft.jar folder. And the easiest way to get there is to run Minecraft, Click on Texture Packs, and then click on Open Texture Pack Folder. And that'll put us right here in a hidden folder under your username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft Texture Packs. Now we want to go back one folder or up one folder to the Minecraft folder. And this is the one we want is, is bin. So we'll open up the bin folder. Now, this is important. Get over there. Um, you must close down Minecraft now. So go back to Minecraft and quit the game because we need to open this file right here, minecraft.jar. Yours may, may just say Minecraft, depending on how you have your file system set up. But uh, right click on that, click on 7-zip, open archive. If you have Minecraft running, you're going to get an error when we try copying the mod loader stuff in, so make sure it's not running. All right, so now on the right-hand side, we have mod loader. On the left-hand side, we have minecraft.jar. We want to copy all of these files from mod loader. And just drag and drop them over here into white space so that you don't accidentally drop them into a folder somewhere. And then you should see a confirmation window like so. And it says, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say, oh, yes. If you get an error right there, you probably have Minecraft running. Okay, now we're done with Mod Loader. We can close that down. Over here, you're going to see, this is critical, by the way. You'll get a black screen if you don't do this. Meta-inf, delete that. So select it, click on delete. Confirm, delete, and it's gone. Now we can close down the Minecraft.jar. We're done with that. Now let's go back to our downloads folder. And you can now, you should have the, the tomes mod, which is mod underscore tome. Now this is real easy. We don't have to put this in the Minecraft jar. All you have to do is copy and paste it. So now we want to copy. So I'm going to do right click and copy. Back to the bin folder. And we're going to go up to dot Minecraft. And then in here, if you see a mods folder, then you're good to go. If not, click on a new folder and type in mods. Now open up, go into that mods folder, right click and then paste the mod tome right in there. And that's it. We don't have to do anything with minecraft.jar. Okay, now the moment of truth, go ahead and run Minecraft. And let me just situate this guy here in the window properly. And if you see Mo Yang, and you get a window like that, and you're in Minecraft, then you probably did everything right. 
If not, you have to go back and try again. Sorry. All right, let's, uh, let's hop right in. I have a Tomes mod map all set up. And let's see if we did this. Now, the first thing we want to do is craft a tome. And we can do that right in our own little personal crafting area. You need a book there. You need an ink sack. And you need a feather. A feather is your pen. You dip it in the ink and you write in the book. I think that's how it goes. And we have an unnamed tome should be created. Put that in your hand and a simple right click and you should see this page. Now the first line will be the title of the book. Let's call this Sir Punch Wood the Mighty. It's one of my let's plays, Sir Punch Wood. And we'll skip a line there and these are the tales. These are the tales of so punch wood and you can just make a whole bunch of lines here and when you get to a certain point it'll go to page two and then you can go back and forth pretty cool stuff click done when you're done and now when you right click it opens up your book and you can make changes using the arrow keys on your keyboard up and down and then if you bring up your inventory and you take a look at the book as you can see, it's entitled with the first line that you wrote in the book, Sir Punch with the Mighty. Pretty awesome stuff. Now, there's also one other thing we can do that's pretty cool. Let's make a new book. I don't want to befoul my tales of Sir Punchwood. I have a new untamed tome, and I'm going to bring up, hold on, I'm going to bring up my notepad, and this is text oopsie from notepad notepad I'm not paying you and we'll call this test book oh my gosh I can't type today text test book one and we're gonna copy that I'm gonna do copy let's go back to our game right click our whoops wrong book and then I'm going to paste by holding down control V Hold down control hit V and it pastes the notebook text right in from notepad pretty cool so you don't have to do any typing so if you have really long text and you want to get it into one of these books just copy and paste it in that is pretty awesome so that's pretty much it there's not much more to it so I guess I'll end the video now and bid you adieu if you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way I would really appreciate a like it shows me that you care all right, guys and gals, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.